joke. I love jokes. For that matter, my life's a joke. Did you hear the one about the rabbi, the producer, and the studio executive who walk into a bar? I just got here. Just now, I took the bus. This this is a bad time, Lionel. What? I'm not well. What? A rabbi, an undertaker, and my freaking nephew walk into a bar. Hey, I tried to... Did you know your phone's out of order? Yeah, uh, it's the, the... Mom says hi. Uh, she's worried about you. She wants you to call her. Uh, could I... I'm, I'm not alone. You know what I mean? Sorry. Got yeah, it. She's... Sorry. Come, come back later. I did it. I did what you said, Uncle Charlie. Great. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's about Benjamin Disraeli and the tariff laws of 1876. No, wait, this you is... See, I uh, can't William wait Gladstone. to read this. Come back tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, okay. Um, I can find a place. Uh, motel Good. or... What time? Five. Okay. I hope you like it. Those tariff debates got pretty... Vicious, uh, okay. and a recently converted Jewish black action star walk into a bar. No, I just need two minutes. Yeah, I'm going into a meeting. Two seconds. I'll see you in there. I was just talking about you. I had lunch with... Uh... That's okay, Brad. You don't have to think of a name. I'm leaving the agency. Oh. Charlie, that's bad news. I hate hearing that. You'll get over it. Probably for the best. I mean, we haven't really scored for you. I can't help feeling it's my fault. I feel that way, too. Sign this for me, would you? What is it? It uh, terminates our contract as of today. Any projects? We need to... No, there are no projects, Fred. You've never gotten me a job. Yeah. How you been? I'm good. Um, I was suicidal, and my nephew interrupted that, and he gave me this Benjamin Disraeli script. Benjamin Disraeli? The British Prime Minister. What happened to Tony Blair? You didn't hear? No. What? No, I'm, I'm just kidding you. Uh, this was before 
uh, Tony Blair. Oh, and okay. I'm going to attach Bobby Mason to it. Ah, <laughs> OK. You go get him. Let me show you out. Brad, yeah. get something green in your teeth. Hello there. Charlie Burns. Rabbi Gutterman, are you here for the B'nai B'rith meeting? Actually, I'm here to discuss business, Rabbi. Oh, sit, 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 sit down. I'm making a movie about Judaism. Judaism? Based on the life of Benjamin Disraeli. Did you know that Jews were not allowed to sit in the House of Commons before 1858? No, I didn't know that. See, that's why we want to bring someone like you on board, as sort of a, a technical advisor. Technical advisor. Associate producer would be the actual term. Well, I'm a busy man. Besides the congregation, I'm on the mayor's youth council. I'm the chairman of the West Coast Symposium on Humanistic Revisionism. We talking about the line here? Absolutely. Who's directing? Hasn't been said. Who do you have in mind for Disraeli? Well, in my wildest, let's be bold, anyone you want wish list, and this is where you could help. Thinking of going against type. Robin Williams. Farther against type. Steve Reese, Stephen Holly at Daily Variety. Leave a message. Yeah, Stephen, is Charlie Burns calling? I want to clear something up. I got word that you guys are planning to run with a story that Matt Damon is attached to this Benjamin Disraeli, Bobby Mason picture that I'm producing. I don't know how this story got started. First time scribe Lionel Travis, options in the low six figures. Don't believe everything you read. <clears throat> Exec producer Rabbi Seth Gutterman. Uh, Mason's manager reconfirms Bobby's interest in projects with Jewish themes. Questions of circumcision or bar mitzvah were met with no comment. I don't know. They seem really hot on this. Is this today? Yeah. Mason Jason Ben Diz. What if the feeding frenzy you were talking about doesn't happen? What if he does kung fu? He does. Lionel, you're doing it again. He he's an action star. He's black. Lionel. Ben Disraeli was a middle-aged white, like historical. Fuck. Oh. Me. Lionel, this is your first script. It's a hundred million dollar Bobby Mason picture. You should have such problems. Hey, what about Jeremy Irons? What do you know about a Bobby Mason Disraeli script? Nothing. I have a call into his manager. Who's Charlie Burns? Did a couple of things in the mid '80s. Broken Ring put him on the map. Best Picture nomination. Golden Globe. Since then. Bunch of crap. Last Picture, 2000. Well, buy that script. Has anybody read it? It doesn't matter. Benjamin Disraeli and Bobby would play. Who? Oh, Deirdre, just buy the script. Howard. Could you close the door, please? Is it true the Canadians are buying the studio? Whatever happens, you'll be fine. I got your back. Those. From the wedding. Whose wedding? Cindy's. It was really nice. Too bad you couldn't make it. It was at Phyllis's house on Block Island. Everyone was asking about you. What's his name? Tim? Tim. Good guy. You're a tough man to get a hold of. New phone system. Got to work the bugs out. Mm -hmm. Can I get your cell? I don't really carry one. Haven't had the need for it. Hmm. Well, how do I get a hold of you? Through your agent? Through Brad Emperor? Uh, he's not really my agent anymore. I, I thought we could just wrap this up today, you and me. Wrap what up? The deal. Bill and Ben. Just green light the picture. I don't have a script. I'll get you one. This is the English Disraeli, 18 whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bobby Mason. We'll tailor the script for Bobby. I'll hire a new writer. Mr. Burns. Charlie, I'm not that old. Charlie. <laughs> we could date. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is exactly that you think that we could accomplish. That's a really good looking man. Bobby's got a window of opportunity of about five months before the Ridley thinks so we've got to really move this, this project along. I can't OK a script I've never read. Yeah, you can. It doesn't matter what you or I think. It's a Bobby Mason picture. Well, Charlie. We have a procedure here, and I think we'll stick to it. I need to read the script and then get it to Bobby's people. 
then I'll make a recommendation to my boss, and then we'll put that script in development, and we will do that as quickly as we possibly can. You are so good at what you do. Thank you. A lot of people, women in particular, are really bitter and angry because of the pointlessness, the powerlessness of their job, but you have a lot of dignity, and I really like that. Thanks for talking to me. So you send me the script? Oh, now you're just fucking with me. <laughs> wow. So then he says to me, we can date, you know? And with this little smile on his face, he says, my job is useless, I'm powerless, and nobody gives a shit what I think. Which is true. But I can't stand when he said that. And I'm angry and bitter, but I cover well. Can you turn that shit down? Hello? Oh, yeah. Hello, Howard. Yes, I met with him today, Charlie Burns. What? Well, why? I told him we were interested. Well, I just thought that someone might want to read it. Howard, I'll do it first thing tomorrow morning. OK. OK, I'm going to do it tonight. All right, thank you, Howard. Good night. Dinner in two minutes. Excuse me. Hi. I'm looking for Charlie Burns. He's asleep. Are you with Jeremy Irons' people? No, I'm from the studio, Deidre Hearn. Oh, all right. Um, hi. I'm Lionel Travitz. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, you're the... Uh... Writer. I wrote Bill and Ben. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, good for you. Can I get a clean copy of the script from you? Yeah. Sure. Um, yeah. Well, I hate to wake him at 1.15 like this, but it's important. Could you... I'm awake. I'm into my office. Uh, it's just uh, right down to the right, and then in the hallway. Down the hall. I'm in the back. You're getting warm. You didn't bring coffee, did you? Sorry. I have pants on. Fascinating. No, I'm telling you that so that you'll be comfortable. Thank you. Listen, I told you we were interested. Why did you take it to Universal? Oh, now, don't get all army foldy on me. I played your boss, not you. The studio's going to the Canadians. He's got to go to the board and tell him he's got the new Bobby Mason picture to try to keep his job. I just nudged him. I tried to nudge you, but you're not nudgeable. I'm a wily coyote. I put a deal memo together on that pile of crap. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're a bargain. Well, my fee's a little outrageous, but I do have you over a barrel. The budget's 100 mil, plus or minus 10. I don't know what Bobby costs these days. There's a tree in your pool. California pepper. It's a jacaranda. Here's a clean copy oh. for you. No, 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 no. We're not ready for you to see that. Just for me, no one else will see it. No. Thank you, Lionel. Lionel. So, when do we start shooting? We can't make a movie if we don't have a script. Wait a second. I didn't want to embarrass my nephew, but I hired a new writer. You'll have a script in a couple of days. A couple of days? I have to pee. And I wasn't completely honest about my pants. I'll see myself out. OK, tell them to call me. OK. How are they going to call you, Chuck? How are they going to call you, Charlie, if you don't have a phone? You are one sharp cookie. Tell them I'll call them. Are they gonna make it? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> hey, where's my script? What's this? Six Days of Darkness? I like that girl. Oh, fuck you, Russian bastard. 
How's it coming, Wing? The script? Yeah, OK. You bring the cash? Uh, let me read a couple of pages first. OK. Next time, mm. eh? I trust you. OK. Bobby, weapons expert. He go off deep and in Desert Storm immigrate Israel. That's good. Chick Mossad. Operative. She grew up in kibbutz and drive tank if hand job same time, yeah? I'm loving it. Open picture Beirut. Suicide mission. Film, Ben? It's an indie, an art film. It's beautifully written. With Bobby Mason? It, it's William Gladstone and Benjamin Disraeli debating tariff laws in the House of Commons during the reign of Queen Victoria. Bobby likes it? Well, Bobby hasn't read it. He doesn't read scripts. It's his rabbi. He's Jewish now. Make it work. I'm going into the boardroom and announcing that we're making the next Bobby Mason picture. So make it work. Bobby cannot do this script. Bobby Mason doesn't do words. He kicks, he flips, he runs from explosions, he beats people up. I mean, what is this? I was not blind to the worldly advantages of such an alliance. I found you as I thought. What is that? Some kind of joke? How about a calming chai latte? You see, this is what happens when people take things that don't belong to them. Tomorrow, you will have a new Bobby Mason script on your desk. He will kick, he will flip, he will kill people, and everyone will love it. Why are you doing this? For fun. We're in the entertainment business. I'm entertaining myself. Mm -hmm. What else are we going to do? Get all depressed and suck on the tailpipe of our car? Ugh. Deidre, are you sleeping with anyone? Excuse me? It's just, I haven't had sex for a long time. Oh, I get it. You're shocking. Well, I'm not surprised you haven't had sex in a long time because you're all so crude and disgusting. Are you? Engaged to be married. His name is Glenn. He's a corporate lawyer. He's great looking, a gourmet chef. He's got a terrific dick and he really knows how to use it. What else can I tell you about him? Wow. Wow, exactly. Just saying, I could have done the rewrite. I could have taken your notes. Lionel, listen to me. You've already done the heavy lifting on this thing. You've got your name on a Bobby Mason picture. Relax, enjoy the ride. But I'm just saying, let me put it to you this way. Think of yourself as the architect of a cathedral. You decide where the nave and the pulpit and the choir loft goes, but you don't actually paint the stained glass windows, do you? You get a craftsman to do that. But what if I don't like the stained glass windows? You'll like them, trust me. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's what we all live for. Our name on a parking space. Hun, how was work? Wow, it's cool. Is this all ours? Easy, big fella. Who am I to be executive suite? Who are you? I'm Catherine Oxymore. I've been assigned to you temporarily from the studio till you get your own secretary. Oh. I started yesterday. What have you been doing? Um. Hey, Lionel, why don't you go to the commissary? Hi. Commissary? Just, uh, just across the courtyard. Get us some coffee and something. This is very cool, Uncle Charlie. Uh, Adidra Hearn has been trying to reach you. Um, should I ring her? No. I'm gonna need 25 copies of that. Get one to Deidre Hearn. That young fellow that just left, don't give one to him. Who is that? He's the writer. Shall I get Deidre Hearn for you? No. Um, where are you going? I'm gonna go get some coffee. Uh, didn't you send the writer for coffee? Good coffee. They dropped off these forms for office furniture. You can choose Southwestern, contemporary, traditional, oriental, Mexican. You decide. You want me to choose? Yes. Shit. What? Would you pull on that little string right there? Thank you. Tell Lionel. I'll see him later. Who's Lionel? The writer. Very sexy. Excuse me? Hot. What is wrong with you? 
that the V-Series? I don't know. This is a cell phone. Use it. This is a gift for me? Yes. Seriously? Yes. <laughs> oh, this is Peter and Paul. They're our new writers. I thought that we should have them here for the meeting. Guys, this is Deidre Hearn. She's from the studio. Hi. Right, right. Yes, excuse me. Charlie, can I talk to you? There isn't going to be a meeting. This script has gone from a beautifully written little art house film to... Action adventure? It is crass, vulgar, anti-Semitic, anti-Arab, anti-Muslim, sexist... Pile of dog shit. That's yes. why I got the new writers. We are not sending this script to Bobby Mason. We already did. <laughs> That's why we're having this meeting. OK, guys, let's go take a meeting. Come on. OK, so Ben is really freedom fighter. Mind if I just jump in there, uh, put in my five? Should we wait for Bobby? Bobby, that's a little bit cart before the horse. Bobby doesn't take these meetings. I thought it was called Bill and Ben. This is the new draft. I realize, I'm sorry, Rabbi, my assistant didn't get the new draft to you. She's a temp. I'm only the executive producer. Associate. Be that as it may. Now, we all know a Bobby Mason picture is not high art, and we do get some pretty horrendous scripts submitted. Didge, what were you thinking? That's pure horseshit, and there's no way we're gonna do this. Uh, Paul and I have some ideas. There are some thematic uh, themes that might actually... Can I trouble uh, you for some sweet like, and low? Mark, in my own defense, it was premature for you to get this draft. It needs a lot of work. There was a communications glitch. OK, so the Arabs have the drop on Ben and the girl. What if instead he makes a speech, like something from the Torah or the, the Talmud? Uh, Rabbi, uh, help me out. Don't ask me. I wasn't even sent a script. I know Bobby's been on this yit kick. No offense, Rabbi. None taken. Look, Bobby is looking for Jewish content, and we are committed to that. And it is a daunting task. Guys, I don't know. Look, <clears throat> I'm not a writer, I'm just a manager. Like here. You know, got a big action sequence, which is OK, but then you need a rest. And if there's ever a place for a joke, again, I'm not a writer. But page 36, joke. I would think that'd be an appropriate moment. Two Jews are shopping for swimwear. You tell this. <laughs> she tells this so well. Come on. So, that went well, don't you think? Actually, it did. You can green light the picture. They need to start shooting by the first week in April. What? Hold on one second. Guys, great meeting. It went well. Yeah. I'm going to have to let you go. Excellent notes. Very intuitive. Do you want to fill me in? Mark's going to take a pass. We'll have a script in two weeks. He's a manager. Yeah, but he really wants to write. Meet me at the Sky Bar. Why? To celebrate. We're making a movie. <laughs> Crap. Well, yahoo, yahoo, we are making a picture. We are a go. They're going to start rolling the cameras in April. What are you doing, your laundry? This is not stained glass windows. In fact, there's not a word of mine in this entire script. Well, there's got to be one. Nope, you betrayed me. This is garbage, and I don't want my name on it. Oh, you're just saying that because you're angry and because you got taste. But you don't want to take your name off of it. No name, no residuals, trust me. Trust you? Fuck you! Everyone warned me about Hollywood, but it's not Hollywood. It's not showbiz. It's you, Uncle Charlie, and it's people like you. I spent two years on this script. I wrote and I rewrote it, and I, I didn't stop until it was perfect, and this is what you do? Deidre Hearn liked your script. And she's smart. Keep writing. All this uh, idealism, it, it's charming if it works for you. Write the truth. Extol the virtues of family and motherhood. But mom better be 20 years old with great tits. There you go. Thank you. Hey, you want to explore the triumphs and failures of humankind? You go for it. But you better blow something up by page 20. Take my name off this goddamn script.
always this hot? No, this is autumn, summertime hot. When the terrorists detonate the mines and the camels start to run. Camels? No camels. Yeah, but the it says in the script. No, what? I don't walk with no camels, man. You say accent is shit, like thank you. If you want to make a movie about cheating camels, that's okay. No camels. Ah, this is good. I like it. Yeah, we can only shoot but in that direction only. It's a good direction. Yeah, but here we have the nuclear power plant. Here you have. Oh, that is beautiful. We shoot in that direction. Yeah, but yeah? this is the Table Mountain. Yeah, man. You don't have a Table Mountain in the Negev. It's a mountain. It's too much time, idiot. I don't know what to say. Then we flip a coin. Nazi idiot. And it's Charlie. It's got a bit of a situation here, mate. We've searched fruitlessly for days for this exact look. I, I don't understand. You cannot shoot, but in that direction only. Is there any difference in the cost between the two locations, Skip? Nah, six to one. They each have their problems. Call it, Levy. It's not a joke, it's not a game. Okay, your heads. Tails, Hans wins. Let's go home. Not funny, Charlie. You mock oh, me. Come and I... on, be a sport. Maybe you'll win the next one. Hey, I can't walk like this. Are you quitting? Levy, what's the name of that Australian director you can't stand? The one who won. Soundman, not the director. Remember the year you were nominated and he won. What's his name? Nightmare. Oh, you guys look exhausted. Now listen, Levy, Fiona Hicks. I've worked out the dates with her agent for that conflict, so can I book her? I screen her film, it's all shadow. I cannot see her no, body. No, we're gonna lose her. Ask her to Polaroid body, then I make decision. I can't ask her to Polaroid her body. She have nice tits? Well, I assume so. She's 26 years old. I right, call her agent and book her, and then have the art department Photoshop Fiona's head onto a nice body and give it to Levy. Bus. Right. He's a fleet. No, no, you answer them all, or, or give them to Andre, or just throw them away. Hi, Mr. Burns office. Just a moment. It's your assistant. You're my assistant. Your LA assistant, Catherine. I have an LA assistant? Hello. Did I get the swatches? What is swatches? Yeah, I got them. They're just fine. You decide. Whatever you want's fine with me. Just not Mexican. I hate Mexican. Mr. Burns, okay. dinner is canceled for tonight and rescheduled for tomorrow night. Andre and the director have a wreck. Good. What dinner? With the studio executive. Oh, she's coming tonight? Um, I believe so. Is she staying in my hotel? I, I, I believe so, yes. Sir. Okay, tell Andre and Levy I'll take the suit to dinner. Okay. Keep two. the reservation for two. Suit to dinner. Put some flowers in her room. Yes, sir. And a nice bottle of wine. Charlie, Danny Turner, how's it going? How are you? So how's the prep going? What are you, about two weeks out? Good evening, sir. I'll have a Grey Goose Martini, dirty extra olive straight up. Hey, thanks for the flowers, by the way. Boy, I got this headache. Who man. are you? Dan Turner. Where's Deidre Hearn? Deidre's development. Now, look, mano a mano, it's no secret. I'm not a fan of this project. Deidre Hearn isn't think... coming? No, <laughs> you're stuck with me. Could you excuse yourself? Excuse me? Yes, could you? Could I? It's just, I want to have dinner here, but I don't want to have dinner with you. And I'm sorry I came across a little strong about the script, but, you know, I'm tired. No, no, the script's a piece of shit. It's just that I don't want to have dinner with you. Uh, now, don't worry, I'll, I'll drink your martini. Howard Draper, please. Could you give Howard a message? It's Charlie Burns calling from Ben Disraeli Freedom Fighter. Tell him Bobby... Ma That's all right, Disraeli. Tell him Bobby Mason absolutely insists that Deidre Hearn be assigned to be the studio exec on this film. He says it's a deal breaker. Yes, I would call in an emergency. Thank you for flying South African Airways. Oh, thank you so much. You guys have been great. Hey! Who do you think you are? Howard Draper is not a man that you threaten. And if he weren't in corporate shit right now, you would be so gone. Welcome to Cape Town, mother city of South Africa. Where am I staying? At a hotel. What hotel? We're all at the same hotel. I want to stay at a different hotel. Okay. I'm engaged. Yes, you told me at the coffee shop. He's got a very talented cop. Can I help you with that? No, get away. All right. I mean, if you're just gonna be bitchy, shit. Might as well go home. So this is why I had to rush over here. Why I had to rearrange my whole life. Because you thought you'd get lucky? Well, tough luck, pal. I'm here and I'm staying. There's a new sheriff in town and I'm gonna watch you like a hawk. Next time, try thinking with your big head. Oh, are you smiling? What are you smiling about? Nothing. I'm relieved, that's all. About what? Well, for a bit there, I thought you weren't attracted to me. Well, I bring out a lot of passion in you. 
and you brought up having an affair. Plus, you referenced my penis. I can't do tricks with it, but uh, I do. I, it... Wait, where are you going? Hold on. <laughs> okay. Don't hurt yourself. Where the hell am I going? I'm not telling. <laughs> Temple on fire. Shit everywhere. Bobby, run through columns. Shoot bad guy. <laughs> Camera track. Bobby see flames. Torah. Bad guy leap in front of Bobby. Bobby kick bad guy. Bye bye. Bad guy. Bobby jump. Swing over fire. He and camera land up puppet. Grab Torah. Bobby, see girl, wounded, unconscious, legs for days. Bobby, pick up girl. Bobby, girl and Torah run, run, run. Big explosion. Boom. Temple destroyed. All one shot. I shoot in pieces. No coverage. This is my shot. My signature shot. I got a ballpark from the various departments. This shot is well over a hundred and a quarter. One shot. Yeah, couldn't we build it in Prague? We've got that government fund thing we have to use up. No, Fiona. All oh, right, she's only boarded for Cape Town. It's a lot of money. Jolly? Deidre? Um. This is not my area of expertise. Yes, but what does the studio think? Well, it is an action movie. And action is pretty much all we've got, so... I think Deidre is absolutely right. Let's do it. Hey, Levy, you won one. Way to go, mate. Gavin, Gavin, Alice Gavin. I'm sorry, Hans. I missed that. Metumtum. Don't ever do that to me again. What? Put me on the spot like that. I was just trying to include you. I thought you'd like to be asked your opinion, you know, being a woman and all. I know that you were just trying to be insulting, and I'm not going to bite. Let's finish the studio notes. Go ahead. No, sit. These are important, and we need to address them. OK. I think we did these. Would you like a cup of coffee? No, thank you. The studio is concerned about the fuck scenes. Fuck scenes between people of different colors can be offensive <laughs> to... I'm sorry. This is my job. Is it all right if they ride in the same Jeep together? Yes, as long as she doesn't go down on him. Wait a minute, what is that? Is there another movie on the wall? No, those are Bobby's. Bobby's Pop Out, Bobby's Gym, and Bobby's Mobile Temple. Oh, pricey. Well, of course. I have to call Howard, see what we're doing. Well, what, why? What's going on? They sold the studio to the Canadians. <laughs> hey, it's the Grand Fuba, the big cheese. Hey, did you hear my great news? I am starting a... Wait, what am I starting? Bold, exciting new chapter. A bold, exciting new chapter of my life. Well. Congratulations. Don't you worry. A door closes, a window opens. Hopefully not on a high floor. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's funny. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Oh, don't you look so very Hemingway. Do you like to buy a lady a drink? I would love to. Great. Fresh meat to lay my troubles on. I wore her out. So you're losing your job? No, but I'm going to. Howard goes, I go. Oh, there's like a vodka on the rocks with a twist. And here's the twist. I'd like a double. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, CGC bought the studio 216 a share. So here's my question. I am a team player. I am a paragon of integrity. And yet still, I am hanging on to Howard Draper's coattails by a thread. I am draped on Draper. <laughs> He'll take care of me, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good evening. Aha. Uh -huh. You're a, a little bit early. Uh, Deidre, this is... <laughs> Gabriella. Hi. I was told it was only... Yes, I'm... You know what? I'm not going to make you wait. I've got that phone number for you. Here. 
Oh, thank you very much, sir. You didn't do this very well with the lady, but a ghost. No, 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 no. Change of plans. You still pay one hour. Absolutely. Shake my hand. You must understand. Take my card. I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna say, I'm calling tonight, and you say, thank you. I'm gonna call him later tonight. Thank you. Who is that? <clears throat> oh, Peter, my driver. It can't be Peter, your driver. That's his daughter. She wants to get on the film. I uh, gave her Andre's number. But you, um, you were going to ask me a question. Yeah, were you, were you ever married? Repeatedly. Huh. But that is not my question. Are you having any fun? That is my question because I don't think I am. I mean, I would love to be like you. You have no integrity. Thank you. I have to take my hat off to you. Hmm. Okay, g give it back, give it back. If I sleep with you, can I go home? No. Charlie? Charlie, it's Andre. Oh, oh Jesus, sorry. I'm sorry. I, I tried to call you. This better be good. I'm so sorry, boss. It's Bobby. He's here. He wants to see you right away. Any chance of changing to Bobby's hotel? My room's a little small. No. Don't. You wait. Hey, Mr. So Lowe, man. Charlie Burns, this is Deidre Hearn from the studio. Hey, how you doing? Hey, man. Hey, son. Oh, check this out. Crew hats. Are these fat or what? Just want to make sure you're cool with this type of shit. It's real important to me. Bring the crew together. Team building. You gotta pass the ball, you know what I'm saying? Yo, you gotta excuse me, I gotta hit the rack. Woo! Fantastic. Is this what you wanted to talk to us about, the crew hats? Yeah, well, I got some questions about the script, but we'll get in that tomorrow. I'm excited about this one, the spiritual aspect, you know what I'm saying? Hey, design gazoon. Design gazoon. He said it was important. Thank you. Good night. No, 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 I'm sorry. I, you know, I really shouldn't drink. Um, so I, I believe we should just maintain a very professional professionalism. Good night, Charlie. Good night. Yes. You have room to move? Yeah, no, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Not too, too much. Hello. Hello. I think it's a... Um, oh, oh, hey. We're just finishing. Fiona, this is Deirdre Hearn from the studio. <gasps> Lovely to meet you. Oh, thank you for doing this. I'm such a fan. Oh, thank you. Um, if I could jump right to it, I've got a bit of a concern. In 127, after the jeep has rolled over and we're all scrambling about, it says I catch my blouse on the jagged metal. Now, um, I'm not a prude, you understand, and uh, I've been working out. But it does seem <laughs> unlikely, doesn't it, that the... Uniform would tear just so. See right. what I mean? So it's. You have a point. It's, it's a little bit, obvious. A little bit yeah, don't you think there. it's. Uh, uh, Charlie Burns, welcome to South Africa. Uh, I'm in London. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, no, we were just talking. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Scene 127. Uh, Ross scene with the hand grenade. You know, I just don't and, want it to um, look set up. The way it rips off. Uh, yeah. Excuse me, Charlie, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. No, it shouldn't look obvious. Oh, good. Any way you can get your shirt off is okay with me. Right. Okay, uh, well, I have an idea. Uh, yeah, looking right at it. Call you back. Hmm. <laughs> well, they're furious. They want to know if there are any other executive producers they need to know about. <laughs> hey, guys, Bobby needs to see the two of you right away. He's pretty upset. He's at the hotel. What do you think? Monogram talises for the crew? 
Oy vey, Maria. So what are you saying? It's too violent? You want to cut it? No, 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 no. You're missing my point. There isn't any guy who gets his ass kicked in one of my movies who's not a major sleazebag. But it's the terrorist, Viet Cong, dope dealer, anybody against freedom. You know what I'm saying? Who wrote this shit? Plus, you got me running around with an Uzi. Fuck a Uzi. I mean, this guy's slamming 50 caliber shells into this Jeep. Yo, you need that Mauser M80. Shut the fuck up! This is about 2,000 years of persecution. There's got to be more Jewish between these bullets. Am I right, Rabbi? Well, I, I would. I don't disagree with you. Know, you know, like when I talk to the chick, Fiona Hicks. Is she Jewish? Is that a Jewish name, Rabbi? I have no idea. Many names have been altered. And, and... what shit ass decides the temple scene, the biggest scene in the fucking movie? We shoot it on the second day? Huh? I'm that shit ass, Bobby. But, but here's what I'm dealing with. Hold on, Andre. I, I, I think I can simplify this for all of us. Bobby, you're obviously nervous because we start shooting tomorrow and you probably feel foolish that you didn't read the script until you got here. You're worried that you're not a very good actor, but everybody knows you're not a very good actor and it's just not important for this movie. This is nothing but insecurity, which is completely understandable given the grossness of your last picture. So here's what we're gonna do. You'll show up on time, you'll use the weapons we give you, you'll say the lines as written, or we'll sue your ass. And all those Bobby Mason stories you've managed to keep out of the press will come to light. <laughs> now, I know we all have things to do. You get a good night's sleep. What time's this call? 5.30. Good. Learn your lines, and I'll see you on the set. Oh, and uh, for whatever it's worth, I think you're absolutely right. The writing sucks. I'm gonna fire the writer. <laughs> Wow. Okay. What was that? Tough shit, tough love, tough producer. No, yeah, I'd say all of that. Wait, are they following us? Let's take the elevator. He's not going to show up. He'll show up. What he do you won't. Take the elevator. He'll show up. Andre? Oh, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't bet on it. I will. How much? We pick it up in the shower where he walked in. Hundred. A hundred bucks. Andre, you want a piece of this? Thank you. No, 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 no. I meant. Uh, I meant the fat. Well, I don't want it now. Hundred bucks. You're on. What time is it? Five twenty-eight. Bonnie, hate to bother you with this, but the director doesn't seem to have time for me. Of course, Nigel. What is it? This scene this afternoon. When um, Black Chap, what's his name? Bobby Mason. When he says to me, Ambassador, if I ever forget that night, then my life don't mean shit. What exactly is he referring to? He's referring to the attack on the temple. Yes. Then what is his relationship with the Jews? He is one. He's Jewish. Well, it does make more sense, doesn't it? Yes. Thank you so much. Cheers. Bye. It's 5.30. Hey, up. Excuse me. These are from Bobby. The salmon was flown in this morning from Scotland. Bobby's here? Yeah, he's been here since 5. He's running lines. Thank you. What's that phrase? Uh, oh, yeah. I told you so. Let me know when you're hot, man. And here we go. And rolling. Oh, yeah, good. good mode. Weapons hot, OK, man? And camera. <laughs> That's the scornish. Now look, on my count, I'm gonna take out the sniper. I want you to get the machine gun. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Ready? Come on! Okay, I don't know who is she. 
You see a model? This is a, this is an action movie. We must stop and recast. It's not a fashion TV, man. This is impossible. I'm telling you, she's proud like a girl. What is this? Well, let's just give Rolf a few moments to work with the actress. I thought the last one was better. Now you're directing. You just coffee. Are you coming back, Levy? Don't run after me. 127 Apple, take five. 127 Apple, take nine. Twenty-seven Apple, take nineteen. Take twenty-two. One twenty-seven Apple, take twenty-three. generous contributor. Really? Of course, Mel Brooks likes to come for the High Holy Days. Uncle Charlie? I hired him. Can I talk to you for a second? Oh, he's a terrific little writer. He just has to clean up a few scenes and, you know, up the Jewish yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I just wanted to ask you, are, are you going to sleep with me anymore? No. Are you sure? That's what you said before. I'm sure. You understand the question? Yeah, yeah. Uh, how did it go? You're good. Everything's fine. Good night, Deirdre. I'm so sorry. I feel like a fool. At least we got through it. Don't worry about it. Do you know Lionel Travis? Oh, Hi. the writer. Well, um, bravo. Well, I'm more the uh, architect. Oh, Hans, Hans, excuse me. Sorry, we have to talk about the pre-call. Wow, <laughs> it's an honor to meet you. How did your first day go? Not particularly well. Uh, apparently, I throw like a girl. Well, you are a girl. And I sport a black lazy bra to prove it. Care to join me in a drink or five? Uh, sure. Great. Nice hat. Oh, thanks. I got it in Los Angeles. Oh, I love LA. Pull the script. Damn it, can you get somebody? I love it. I don't care if it's broken. Get some damn table something. Come on. Lady. Lady. We got a bit of a situation. Give me coffee. Terrace number two's got a stomach thing. I don't give a shit. Yeah, problem is he does, mate. He's stuck in the bathroom. Get There's him a up. giant hole. Yeah, Something's no definitely missing. I need to say something, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I've been chasing this motherfucker the whole movie. I need to say something. What about ideology, motherfucker? Well, a spiritual dimension. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wisdom thing. I mean, these are my people. Miss Booker, from Moses to Moshe Dahan. That's a good line. We should use that. Rabbi, what do you think that we could do to make the script more Jewish? This script? You could circumcise it. You could put villain on it. It wouldn't be Jewish. That's the fucking problem. You could say a baruchah over the bazooka. <laughs> I like that. I was joking. No, Oz, I told you before, not there. You the writer. Come up with something. Hey, hey, hey. Shut the fuck up. You the writer, right? OK, well, I, OK, I have l'chaim. Let's fry him. OK, uh, uh, shalom to the dome. Shalom to the dome. Shalom to the dome. Well, thanks for joining us at 2 o'clock. Haven't gotten off a shot. Lunch was supposed to be an hour ago. You know what it is? Yeah, Hans can't get the scrim. No, I mean, do you know what we're having for lunch? Yeah, I do. We're having a giant meal penalty over rice and a side of kiss my ass. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> Hans, enough party. Hey, skip. Enough playing, OK? Ladies and gentlemen, listen up, please. We're going hot. Say it's please. We're going hot. Five, six, eight, split. Okay, okay, guys, let's go. A little bit more smoke in the background. A little bit more Where smoke. A little bit smoke in the back. A little smoke. Round now. Am I going to Action! Say it to me one more time. God said, Duncan, you didn't have the bell. Shvalta, <laughs> Ian.
Excellent shooting, perfect fainting. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was too special, wasn't it? It was enchanting. Make sure everybody gets their call sheets, please, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to curse it, but we could be doing some significant shit here. A real mitzvah. for you. Lionel did a really nice job on the scene. Do you want to see it? If you like it, I like it. Okay. Well, that was a good day. Levy pulled off his signature shot. God love him. Yeah. You seem more bizarre than usual. Oh. Nice talking to you. I told a joke. I don't think it's funny anymore. Well, let's hear it. It's long and boring. What else is new? A rabbi, an actor, and a producer are fishing for scrod. I tell you, my daughter got married. Wait, is this part of the joke? It might be. Here's the punchline. You ready? Yeah. She forgot to invite me to the wedding. <gasps> well, you're going to have to work on that joke. Andre. Hello. Hi, Andre. What? God, when? Hey, hey, who's just coming out of the restaurant? Don't issue the cake. 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 One of Bob's guys was shot. He's okay. No one's claimed responsibility. You sure it's a kidnapping? Yeah. Jamal and what's his name were tied up. Bobby was taken from his car. The guys wore military gear, ski masks. Oh my God. I don't know what to do. We can shoot Nigel and the girl. Should I call Howard? We could do the rug visit. We'll get Lionel Howard. to write body out of the tent. Don't you think I should call Howard? Uh, who's Howard? There's no I war here. I tried his cell. You don't Where know that. He? Listen, I have an emergency, and People I need to speak up. to Howard now. Who are you talking to? The insurance company. Somebody Wait. to be running the studio. Of course, Major. Who is that? Fine, shut it down. at your dime. I will dime. be at the ambassador's house. We can shoot around. If I don't speak to him before, then it will cost you your job. Here's another idea. That's true. Eat and I beseech me. you as a human being. They're calling it an act Studios of war. Studios chaos. Everybody's They're not gonna in pay. hiding. We're fucked. Does Bobby belong to any political organizations? Causes, that sort of thing. I don't think so. He recently converted to Judaism. Yes, I read that in People magazine. Good evening, Ambassador. This was just delivered 10 minutes ago to the embassy. My name is Bobby Mason. I have not been harmed and have been treated humanely. The August 1st Brigade demands that Colonel America ends in support of the puppet regimes that destroy our land. That colonial America ends in support of the illegal and immoral puppet regimes that continue to destroy our lands and rape our cultures. What if we offered the kidnappers a piece of the back end? Adjusted gross points. The terrorist group, the August 1st Brigade, is said to be linked to the kidnapping. The Scorpions are apparently investigating the matter. Although Mr. Mason has recently converted to Judaism, they'll get Bobby back, won't he's they? not linked to any known I political mean, organization. What are they going to do with them? Details are sketchy, but what has been confirmed is that two bodyguards were tied up by unidentified men, and one member of his entourage has been wounded. The men were apparently wielding automatic weapons. The American star is currently in South Africa shooting the film Ben Disraeli. Freedom Fighter. Think we'll get a detention? If we're lucky. Who's a gray suit? I don't know. Those two are Bobby's lawyers. Did you know Mark was coming? No.
Deidre Clark, head of legal affairs, CGC. Charlie Burns, Deidre Hearn. Let me get you up to speed. Insurance calls it an act of civil disorder and anarchy. They're not gonna pay. We're shutting it down. Save the sets, salvage what you can. I can keep shooting, I've got material. Masons in every scene, I've read the script. Don't bullshit a bullshit. Now I need to go to the set and make the announcement. Is that us? Yep. Yeah. Bobby Mason is a corporation, and I'm vice president of that corporation. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sue the studio, then I'm gonna sue you, then I'm gonna sue you. Mark. Gross negligence, contract violations. Mark, we'll get him back. I mean, we've, we've beefed up security. Babe, the horse has already left the barn. He's got a point. Yeah. All right, this is what I think we should do. We should just go back to the hotel, we should get everybody together, because everyone's gonna be very upset. Sounds like people are pretty shook up about Bobby. Deidre wanted more security. I said no. Bad decision. You going to the party? I'm trying to stay on good behavior this trip. She's an excellent producer. You gonna fire her? Yeah. Because of this? No. What about Howard Draper? He's staying. That's a stupid move. I'll send a memo. looking for a good investment. Charlie, this is Glenn. Uh, Charlie Burns, our producer. It's great to meet you, finally. Oh I am so sorry, what a disaster. Yeah, well, people get kidnapped. Glenn has been flying for like 26 hours. Very gallant. Yeah, I, well, I heard the news, so I thought, God, you hey, must be going Hey, when's the big her. day? Sorry? When are you getting married? How long do you think it will take for us to wrap out of here, Charlie? Uh, you kids go home, I'll take care of it. How long have you been engaged? We've been seeing each other for about, uh, well, it's about seven years now. Oh, making sure you really know each other, right? <laughs> Do you come from money? Uh, well, we were comfortable, yeah. Old money? Charlie, enough. You're being fired. Take him to the cleaners. He's a lawyer. I got your He's an odd duck. I realize it's just a picture in a frame. So let me get the real Cute. <laughs> Vodka straight. I will miss you. You're a very strange man. How did you meet Levy? At Yabium in Amsterdam, you know it? A whorehouse, yes? Mm. This piece of shit. But someday. So, baby, must go back. Hey, boss. George, how's it going? Charlie. Hey. They fired me? Yep. Who told you? Greer. Because of this? Nope. Oh. I had to call Howard. Draper's staying. He sold me out. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. Where are you going? Where do you want me to go? Uh, well, um, Glenn and I are getting a, a flight out tomorrow morning around 9. Yeah. So, I, um, I don't know. I guess we should say goodbye. You want a goodbye moment? Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, um...
might be interesting. Very interesting, Charlie. I was changing money at the airport, and, um, do you mind if I turn this shit off here? All right, the studio said to salvage what we could, and we still have the Prague account, the incentive money. You know what? It can't leave the country. It's got to be spent there, or it goes away. That's 3537 US. Okay. Are you ready? We make Bill and Ben. Lionel script. It's beautifully written, Charlie. What do you think? I mean, would it be so awful to make a movie we could actually be proud of? Where's Glenn? You and I could pull this off, Charlie. We could. The studio's in chaos, so we make it look like we're wrapping out Freedom Fighter, but we don't send home the sets. We rebuild them, and we use them for Bill and Ben. We keep Hans, Levy, not Andre. He'll rat us out. We can rework one of the prog sets to use it as the House of Commons. And Chadwick would be great as this Israeli. And Fiona could play the wife, Lady Who's It. And Nigel could do Gladstone. We cast the whole thing out of London and Prague. And LA will never know about it. You think this is lamb? We could make a real film. Why do you want to do this? Because if it's for revenge, that's not a very good reason, trust me. No, I'm not mad at Howard. He did me a favor. The stupidest job on the planet development. I like production, Charlie. I like being on the front line. All right. I'll read it. Read what? Lionel's script. You never read it? Yeah. Levy, could you come to my room in about 20 minutes? We're going to have a little meeting. Let's keep it on the QT. Yeah. Where is the QT? No, I mean, don't tell anybody. Sure. Except for Linda. Ask her to come, too. OK. Sure. Keep this quiet. Uh, Fiona, could you come too? Certainly. Morning. Good morning. Going to the meeting, are you? Meeting? Right. I thought you were a friend of Bill's. Who? Oh, sorry. So you're not going to the AA meeting? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Neither am I. Much too early. Maybe see you in the bar later. Oh, Morning, everyone. Nigel, come on. Close the drink. 65, 70 minutes. Charlie, I made a mistake. We shouldn't do this. They'll arrest us. You're completely right. I mean, I would arrest us, wouldn't you, if you were them? Let's just, let's just get to Prague and, and wrap the office out, and I can bury the cost of all this. Did you hear me? Mm hmm. What do you think? They'll only arrest us if it loses money. Welcome to Movie Atelier Praha. Hello, my yeah, friend. How are you? Vladimir. Charlie Burns. Yeah. This is Deidre Burns. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Levy, our director, oh, our DP, Hans. Oh. You been to Prague before? No, no, oh. never. I... This is our lead cap on the front. How are you? Musim mit Plan. Good to see you. Uh, you have the blueprints? We're going to make the Oba prison house of commons. You'll have to build it from the sketch. I, I want to be shooting on the set within a week. I've got Fiona and Nigel. I can do some of their stuff. It's impossible. Skip. Call your mom and dad. Why? Because you're the new line producer. Congratulations. We'll be back with Ben and Queen Victoria in a couple of days. See you Wednesday. Well, where are you going? Going to London. You know what? Just keep throwing corns at it 24 7 until it looks like Parliament. Uncle Charlie. Okay. Thank you. Group hug. All right, we gotta go. Oh, sweet. He got snot all over my uh, shirt. He did. Just be quiet. Oh. He's having a big moment. What do we tell Ian? That we have Vanessa. But we don't have Vanessa. She loved the script. Well, she's putting in a bathroom. That's code. She wants more money. How much more money do you think she wants? One bathroom. Wonderful 
country, as long as you're a mushroom. When were you thinking of shooting? If I had my way, right after you finish your carrot cake. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, next Wednesday in Prague? Wednesday? Oh, I wasn't aware. Vanessa wanted to call you directly, but I wasn't comfortable giving out your number. She's really passionate about this project. She's doing it? She loves the script. I, I really can't. You see, we're renovating our kitchen. I completely understand. Actually in um, London, and um, we're making it. Hold, hey, Glenn, can you just hold on for one second because uh, I, I'm getting another call. Okay. Hi, it's Deidre. Hey, Melanie. You're kidding. We got Ian. Imagine my shock. <laughs> well, that's just great. Well, um, thanks, Melanie. Great. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We're going to jail. How do you do it, Charlie Burns? Hey, how's, how's Glenn? <gasps> oh, my God. What'd you do with it? There it is. I don't know. Uh, hello? Oh. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I thought I lost you. So, uh, things have changed a little bit here. We're, uh, we're making a movie. Well, no, not that movie. Or a different movie. But he's suspicious of you, Ben. I was not blind to worldly advantages in such an alliance. But I have already proved my heart not to be purchased. You have nothing to prove to me. I found you as I thought. Amiable, tender, yet acute, gifted with no ordinary mind. Morning, Lila. Excuse me a moment. This scene this afternoon. Yes. This this chap here, Mossad. Would it be? <laughs> CIA, perhaps. I. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what you're asking. This is a different script, Nigel. Oh. Completely different. Completely different. Oh, which makes sense, doesn't it? An improvement, I think. It's part of his process. Chief. We've got a developing situation here. We've lost the Countess. How? She's taking a series. I need coffee for this. She works Friday. But these are two lovely actresses not from L.A. London, back and forth London, New York. New York's too close to L.A. She'll levy London. You guys sit there. You know, this can't get back to L.A. Understood. I'll have them sign a confidentiality agreement. She'll do a lovely job. How far is Germany? Could we send out for some coffee? With well, this coffee. Oh, good coffee. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah? Are we doing a picture called Bill and Ben? Take a break. Not you. Are you Burns' assistant? Yes, sir. Where is he? Cape Town. Get him on the phone. I don't know how to reach him. You're his assistant and you don't have his number? No. How do you communicate with him? I take messages.
I'm gonna try the jacket on him now, okay? What do you think? Two draws attention to itself? Gee, do you know Catherine sure Oxenmore? No. See, she's your assistant. Oh, yeah. Hi, Catherine. How's it going? Oriental's fine. I love Orientals. Who? When? When's he coming? What if we lose the tapes with the chapel dialogue in the pub? No, no, no! Okay, yes, but no! Steve, five days minimum. Levy, can you yell more softly? Sure. Thank you. We don't have five days. He's gonna be here Tuesday night, two shooting days. He's coming Wednesday. Not nah, Tuesday night. We could shoot around the clock. Friends, I need more days, guys. Hey! Skip, set to ready. Our ships. Don't count if the camera's not rolling. All right, everybody, keep thinking cuts. We need to cut this sucker. Where are you going? I'm just gonna go to sit. Cut. We are a week away from having a film. Why would they shut us down? They may be the weirdest bit pissed. Isn't it great they like Bobby out? It's wonderful, isn't it? I think the terrorist had to wear yarmulkes. Oh. Let's just come clean. Greer Clark's an asshole. They'd love nothing better than to shut us down. Greer Clark? You know him? Oh, Christ, I do. He's a total horn dog. Oh, my gosh, you know Greer. Let's have a chat. Hi, I'm Greg Clark. Do you know where this is? Studio. And I am Tanya. But perhaps I take you to hotel first. It's on the way. Background action! Action pozadí! Action! Action! Oh, my dear, dear, dear. I'm sorry, what is it? Daughter? Daughter, of course. Uh, Keep rolling. Oh, my dear, dear child. The pleasures of life really. They really. They really. Transcend. Yes, I know, there's no need. The pleasures of life really. No, I am all bollocks. God! No, 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 I'm an inferior young man, but my heart has... Oh, what folly. You act as if no man had ever gazed on you with admiration. I was young once. Look at me. <laughs> A glow has returned to your cheek. Can you see that? I'm an old fool. Girl. Mazel tov. Thank God the speech isn't any longer. I should find myself addressing your fool. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Gotta get to the set. Housekeeping. Oh, you need vacuum? Me? Okay. okay. Enough putting. Enough spraying. Hey, skip point. Are we shooting? Four minutes away. Rehearsal. Minutes away. Can you help? 
Ice Is help. the table? Is yeah. it for me? Oh, how no. Ah, uh, no. I saw you. You got ah. spot, maybe? You got something. Uh, like that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Hey, hey, what's up? We have another camera body. We don't, but we could How get long? one. Two hours, maybe less if we. Two hours? Do we have two hours? I don't think so, my friend. And the market. Oh. No, you stay. Oh. <laughs> You're just interested in the game. Yeah, because the money is finished. Yeah, they found the black chap. Huh? Who? The, what's his name? The fellow played Bender's Rail. I'm playing Bender's Rail. No, no, no. Chap with the Uzi and so forth. What? No, 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 what, Linda, what, what, you can't, what, what, no, what, no. What, what, what? They've left the hotel, Linda. Linda, Linda, go get them, stop them. It's too late. I did everything I could, uh, believe me. Well, you lose some, you lose some. Call it, Skip. Wait a minute, Charlie, wait. We're one shot away from finishing this movie. Career's shutting us down in 15 minutes, and we don't have a camera. What would you like to do? We'll figure something out. We'll just figure something out. Something. <gasps> hang ten, guys. Hang ten. Hang ten. Hey, guys. Camera's here. What do you want to do? Set it up. Oh, you hear the lady. Set it up, guys. Hey, Mark. Hey, Cyril. Listen. Let's get it going, Cyril. Come on, come on! Come on, Cyril. You're joking, right? No. Dieter, it's only a movie. <laughs> That's really sick. What? It's a page out of your book. Out of my... Yeah. What? Yeah. Out of my book? Oh, great. That's just great. Now my book is the sick book? Well, why don't you want to finish this movie? I do want to finish... Why wouldn't I want to finish the movie? Because... Because why? Well, you know why. No, I don't know why. Why? Because you know, as well as I do, that as soon as we wrap this movie, you and I are... Well, while we're on the subject, why are you even making Bill and Ben? It's a beautiful little script. Oh, bullshit! 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 Uh-oh. Tell me, when did the brilliance of this script hit you? On the jetway, when you were sitting down beside your fiancé and watched him input into his Blackberry? What? Have some guts. Will you tell the poor schmuck it's a pass? Some guts? Hey, guys. Oh, Can't I smoke love him it. if you got him, eh? Even I'm starting to feel sorry for I'm him. I'm gonna take, what, marriage advice from you now? What are you on, your third, your fourth, your fifth? Oh, you tell the cool if that's you right, that's love that. Right. That's right. It takes guts to pull the plug when it's not working. Oh, and I that's why it. you're I hiding out in a sound stage. Now I'm getting a lecture on courage from you. In the from morning. Suicide Charlie. What do lash? Come. Lionel told me I'm sorry. Give me the phone. I don't know how to call her. What do I do? Get out two percent. Da? It's Charlie. Wreck the car. I'm serious. Hit a tree. Do something. Put him in the hospital. Okay. I need map the location in back you get please. Sure.
Let's shoot it. I'm rallying the troops for you, boss. We are so there. OK, everyone, Bill and Ben, last Yes, what is it? Touches, Remember, you pick up the book in your left hand. Yes, yes, yes. Because book takes camera. I understand, Levy. The book in front of the lens, you've told me a thousand times. You fucked it up 999 times. And we wouldn't want to sell your beautifully designed okay. shot by putting an actor's face in <laughs> front of it, now, would we? How's the goulash sitting? Ah, oh, it's good. It's fine. Wait, wait, one minute. Oh, oh. Four, five, six, split. This is it. All the best. Oh, thanks. OK, everyone. First we have speed. Scene number 157, take one. Action. Mr. Speaker. Gentlemen. The honourable gentleman's natural excitement is, as we know, a most prominent affliction, as is his audacious manner. May we, humble servants of the crown, inquire as to the genesis of this excitement. After a day of the most unceasing labour, I have purchased for England all of Egypt's shares in the Suez Canal. <laughs> Questions of honor hang darkly before us. The canal now belongs to England. Yeah. Oh, the grubby gamblers, capitalists, and financiers of the world have been plotting to grab it. And we have outfoxed them. Yeah. Why was Parliament not informed? Why was this done in so deceitful a fashion? Because haste was of the essence. Yeah. I have never been through such a day as that. I'm in a coma from ecstasy. And now, dear England, finally, France can once and forevermore shut up! That's a cut, thank you. Cut, excellent work, everyone, excellent work. Hans? Is he good? Sir, can I check the gate? Can you check the gate? Control it, camera, proceed. It's a good gate. Good gate. Gate's good. Sihak Nuta. I love you all. I love you all. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased and relieved to inform you that Bill and Ben is a rat! I wish you were more success More than I could ever have I wish you were most happy now The mistakes I've made And if you do Don't be afraid Greatest oh, life Where's the champagne? Where's the beers? Hi, Greer. You got a knack for finding rap parties. You think you can fuck with us? You think you've pulled off a neat little trick here? This film will never. Sit down. I don't want to sit. Oh, are you okay? Sit down. Let me help you out on this. I'm pretty good at it. You go back to LA, you say those stupid producers. When I said salvage what you can, they thought I meant keep shooting. By the time I got to Prague, they had wrapped. You're pretty cute, aren't you? And then I thought, this is your talking, and then I thought, well, they've got Nigel Bland, Ian Chadwick. They got him for a song. Why not look at some footage? A rough cut. 
cost us nothing. We had that tax money just sitting in Prague. Good night, darlings. Congratulations. May not be a total piece of crap. Worst case, straight to video. Hi, Linda. Linda! We got the shot. Fast. She's a great costumer, by the way. You should use her again. How's your, how's your wife? It's Pam, isn't it? We used to do yoga together. I'm gonna be the first to admit, this story's got holes in it. Like, where have you been for three days? But you know what? You can work on that part on the airplane on the way home. Your mom still live in Chicago? Yeah. You folks still together? Yeah. Huh. Where are you going? I wish you more success. I'm gonna get my own room, Charlie. <laughs> you don't take yoga, do you? I have. Yeah, but not not with No. Good for you. I've been well taught. Good for me. I'll see you at the premiere. You absolutely will, mate, if you send me a ticket. Thank you. Thank you. you. Bye, dear. Oh, honey, don't cry. Hey. You were so great. Goodbye. Send the rough in a yeah? Okay. You really took one for Bye. the team. Oh, I took many for him. Ciao. Ciao. See you in LA. See you in Israel. Bye, Lionel. Levy. script. I really think you'd like it. It's about a Russian mathematician. It's right up your alley. Nothing happens, and it's really important. A bunch of guys theorizing about numbers. Eh? Huh? I think we should work together. We're a good team. Burns and Hearn. Sounds like a vaudeville act. You're really smart, and I'm nuts. That's a good balance. What do you want, Charlie? I'll take a vodka tonic if you're getting up. I want to work together, like partners. Listen, I, what I need to know is that when the going gets tough... Can I have my seat back, please? No. Yes. Uh, could you give us just a few seconds? No, no, we don't need a few seconds. Would you switch with me? I'm in 5A. He doesn't want to switch seats, Charlie. He's a grown he, man. I think well, he can decide I, for himself. Well, you the go, question please is on take your table. seat, your assigned seat. You know, we have to work together a lot. No, we have to post this film. No, go away and sit in your seat. <sighs> what if I can get the woman next? Okay, 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 okay. I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but I couldn't help but overhear you and your friend. Now, my son-in-law has written a script, and I think you might find it fascinating. It said during the 1996 Cricket World Cup, and... Charlie. We had some fun, huh? Bobby's kidnapping. You sure this is what you want to do? Well, you had your fun. You told your jokes. The show was over. Time to go home. I don't want to go home. Why? There's a jacaranda growing out of my pool. I can't be your home, Charlie. Glenn? No. Then why? Charlie, when, when we first started this, I... I I thought you were a joke. A and then I thought that you were, well, insane. And then I thought that you, you 
probably the bravest person that I ever met. Thank you. I think you're brave, too. No, no, I I I'm not finished, because then I realize that you're not brave. You're detached. I know. No, and I I'm not finished, because it takes guts, you know? It takes guts to want something and to love something. Excuse me. To... Want me to put those bags in the trunk? Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. And to, and to go after it, it takes some guts. I'm finished. Hey, uh, Charlie. I love what we did together. Be brave. Oh, Charlie, leaving in front of a car is not brave. Don't yell at me, I'm hurt. Are you okay, sir? No, I'm fine, really, I am. Oh, are you hurt or are you fine? I'm a little hurt. So what were you thinking? I didn't want you to leave. But what about stop? I thought we needed a more dramatic gesture. Oh, Charlie. Oh, my God. Can I ask you something? Filmmaker to filmmaker. What? How did I do? Well, it's a start. We can always fix it in post. I did hurt myself a little. Right there, your arm? Where? There. Where? That boring white arm. This? Yeah. This is what, this is a mosquito uh, bite, Charlie. No, you no, had no, this. I just you did had that. this when no, we left I Africa. I'm bruised. I remember. Where are you, Bruce? Couple of places that I'd really like to show you. Where did you hit the hardest? Mm. You really want to know? <laughs> <laughs> That's my joke. Now, here's the punchline. Bill and Ben was nominated for seven Golden Globes. Ian Chadwick was shamefully overlooked. This was a passion project for the studio. I've always been personally fascinated with Benjamin Disraeli ever since college. Is that your daughter? Daughter, good heavens, no. I was hoping to sleep with her tonight. Thank you. Nigel Bland nabbed the Best Supporting Actor. Linda got nominated for costumes. You want to know about the movie? Watch it. It's all on the screen. It's got everything. It's body stripping, rowing, uh, sex appeal. And my nephew, Lionel, was nominated for his very first script. I, I'm just so excited to be here, and I love LA. I love it. You know what? I'm actually proud of this movie. The producing team of Burns and Hearn just signed Philip Seymour Hoffman to play Pufnudi Lubovitch. Would you take our picture? The famous yeah. Russian mathematician. Who are they? We're shopping it around. It's not working. It's not working? The Suez Canal purchase was fearless. He had this great sense of humor and he delighted in breaking the rules. Very interesting, really interesting. Well, so Fiona, who are you wearing? I'm wearing Bear Solomon. Oh, beautiful. Okay, I got it. Got it. Okay. Deidre and I had a tough decision to make. Nothing? No. Either clean my place up or move. We move. It's got a nice pool. No tree, but... And Bobby Mason, actually, it's Mohammed Mufkara now. Anyway, Mohammed and his wife are coming over to dinner next week. Deidre's gonna make Baba Ganoush. And by the way, no one asked me, but that tux I'm wearing, it's an Edgar Pomeroy.